everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how we attempted to make these adorable ice cream sundaes that Bargain Bethany made on her channel. All of her information will be listed below along with her original video. They actually didn't turn out too bad and it was really really fun to make and we also make one other crop so if you want to see how we made these just keep on watching. So you're going to need a few items. So most of you're going to need spackle, some glasses, some decorative items like straws and sprinkles, some paint, Mod Podge, and some containers. I will go through all the items as we use them in this video. So first we started by painting the glasses. So we ended up using a variety of glasses to kind of see what ended up looking the best. Um, so we did two coats of paint to really cover up the glass. Now I suggest you really let it dry before you do anything else with the glass because we didn't and I scratched some of the paint off so definitely make sure you're careful. So we ended up mixing three containers of um, spackle with some pink paint to make the strawberry. Um, don't add too much paint if not the scoops will not hold their shape but just enough to get the color you want. We also mixed another three containers of spackle with white paint so that we can make vanilla scoops as well. And I think that's pretty much all we used to make all of the ice creams um, in this video. So in order to not use so much spackle, we filled it with some styrofoam. Um, that way it kind of gives you some, some height and you're not using up tons of your spackle just to fill up the glass. We also painted um, the the foam so that way in case it peeks through a little bit you wouldn't just see green um, but just like a slight amount of paint on top is fine you don't have to fully paint the green foam because um, you can't really see it that much so now <laughs> the scoops this is probably probably the hardest part so in the video Bethany ended up using um, an ice cream scooper but it really wasn't working for us we found this technique better disclaimer we ended up using our hands we didn't grow an extra finger or anything, but I still don't think you should probably be touching with your hands, but I mean, we were fine. So either use gloves or use like another spoon or something. But we ended up just using a spoon to just kind of scrape some of the spackle onto the spoon. And then we kind of just like rolled it off with our fingers um, to kind of create that little like both scoop shape and the texture that's left over totally looks like ice cream it's like pretty crazy <laughs> so we just did that and we did a couple scoops of the pink and the white um, on each cup um, and then you can use a spoon to kind of shape it a little bit more um, and give that actual shape of a ice cream scoop but honestly it looks pretty legit just by doing a simple scoop So then we ended up uh, realizing we had a lot of open spaces. So I, again, I used uh, just my fingers to put some of the spackle in those openings um, and just kind of cover up those spots because then obviously you totally would see the inside like foam. So just grab some more extra spackle and just put it into, this, into the sides and I think it helps with that problem. Then you can use a paintbrush um, to kind of give it the texture of ice cream again. And you can also use a paintbrush to shape the ice cream scoops a little bit better um, to get that actual shape. So this is what they look like. So our favorite uh, were definitely the taller glasses. It was easier to work with and we were able to create kind of like that little like I don't know pyramid on top of ice cream. I don't know it's just easier to work with. I don't know why um, but those are our favorites but they all turn out pretty well. <laughs> um, definitely a lot of trial and error but it does work out in the end. Another fun part is decorating. So um, Bethany mentioned that she combined paint and Mod Podge to create that like shiny look of fudge or chocolate syrup on top. But we actually think it was easier to just drizzle the paint on top. And then when it was all dry, um, then I went ahead and I put the glossy Mod Podge on top and that definitely worked really, really well. So it actually even looked really, really pretty just leaving it matte. Either one looks really pretty, whether it's like matte or it's glossy, um, they both look really pretty. But um, if you want the glossy look, just add some glossy Mod Podge when it's all dry. So 
So then here is another kind of difficult part. Um, it's again trial and error. So I wanted to make the little whipped cream on top. So I used some of the spackle. So this one we did use another extra container, maybe two, um, and we combined it with white paint um, to get the consistency that we want. And that's where the trial and error came because we were using this a cupcake icer or it's just a little apparatus I guess to ice your cupcakes so I ended up choosing the largest decorative tip so that way it would be a little bit easier to uh, use a spackle but even like that I had to try a couple times to get the, the consistency runny enough for it to come out of this like icing thing but not so so runny that it would just like fall apart but again just trial and error honestly it's like pretty satisfying to watch <laughs> I don't know but I'm kind of weird <laughs> so I'm um, just go ahead and add a little bit of whipped cream to the top of all the ice creams and it just like looks adorable so once that was in place um, then before it dried even though honestly this takes about I was it let it dry overnight to be fully dried but um, we went ahead and we added some sprinkles uh, we didn't have the issue that the paint uh, came off of the sprinkles onto the spackle um, which was pretty nice so um, it, it stayed so it looked really pretty we just went ahead and um, put the sprinkles on top then we cut a paper straw in half and stuck it into the ice cream and guys I think it looks so so cute definitely let it dry like I said overnight but it looks adorable it looks so cute and it looks pretty realistic like from far away um, it looks really really stinking cute so now let's move on to the second DIY so for this DIY you're gonna need four canvases like the small canvases from Dollar Tree you're gonna need some ribbon I wish I would have found some lace ribbon I think it would have would have matched a little bit better but it, this is the only one that I had on hand but you can use any ribbon you want and then this little sign like it's broken apart like separated into pieces you're gonna get one of those as well first thing you're gonna do is take apart the hard pieces Again, it was very, very simple to do. They weren't like on there too too badly. The tape was really easy to take off. Um, if anything, it was the ribbon that was glued on pretty well. But um, even though it kind of left a texture onto the cardboard pieces, I couldn't see it once it was painted. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. But you could always like maybe sand it down a little bit. Um, but it was fine um, even the way I had it. So then I'm gonna get some acrylic paint and some chalk paint. Mixed it together to get the color, the light color pink that I wanted. Chalk paint worked really well because it covered the cardboard really nicely. Um, but I just went ahead and I painted it. And while that's painting, I went ahead and moved on to the canvases. For the canvases, um, I wanted to save the inside uh, Part, so like the majority of the fabric because I felt like I could probably do something with that later I don't know I'm always collecting scraps <laughs> but I go ahead and take off all of the cloth material um, it wasn't too bad to take off the edges were a little bit harder because they were obviously stapled together um, but it was pretty it wasn't too bad to take off so once you go ahead and do that to all four of the canvases you'll be left with this we're gonna be making this kind of window shape. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is, to create that shape is obviously just glue it together. I used my hot glue gun, and I just went ahead and glued all the inside um, sides to create your little window. Once it's glued and dried, you could go ahead and paint it, like maybe white, but I wanted to keep it the super light natural wood color, so I didn't paint it at all. Then you're just gonna take your, your pieces of your heart and put them back onto the window and kind of sh reshape that heart so um, once you kind of have it in place then you're just going to glue the pieces together um, so I just took some more hot glue and then I just glued the heart pieces onto my window and this is what it'll look like so it looks super cute just like that <laughs> but I wanted to hang it um, again I wish I had a different lighter color ribbon to match better but I'm just going to show you guys more or less what I would do. So I took my ribbon and I just tied it off on one of the ends 
and then just tied it again on the other end. Um, I kind of wish I would have done like maybe little bows on the end, but I was planning on changing the ribbon out. But you could, um, you know, you can you can tie off uh, the ribbon any way you you want. But I wanted to do it this way because it worked with the little command hook that I had in the kitchen. But this is what it looks like and I think it looks super super pretty and again it's super simple and super inexpensive to make so both of these DIYs I'm in love with I think they're super cute so I hope you liked it like I said I'll leave Bethany's original video below um, but if you liked the video definitely give it a like and I will see you guys on my next one bye guys